Hello to you, Snap Brother, Scent Sister, a non-binary scent sibling. I'm Yulia Graham, and I'm not in my car today. Usually, I film videos about perfume in my car, but today I thought I would give your <laughs> ears a break. This is a new thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to block together videos of five days of wear, and sometimes the nighttime ones too, just to let you know what I'm actually wearing. Editing Yulia here, uh, it got away from me. We only did four days and uh, then the wheels completely fell off, but this is uh, four days of what I wore. And so that we can talk about perfume that we actually wear, whether we like it or not, how it lasts, was it worth it, do we like it, all the things. If you have any questions about any of it, just leave them down below. If April showers bring May flowers, what the actual <laughs> do Snow, sleet, freezing rain, rain, and ice pellets bring on April 29th. Uh, I don't know where I'm looking. This is just a little example of uh, what it's like today. This is what I'm wearing on my feet, which is the dumbest thing I've ever done. And if we look outside, this is the weather. And I want to show you what's happened to my car. So, uh, you, 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 you. The things you do. Maybe it's not frozen anymore, I don't know. Yeah, it's still frozen. Look at this is this is my window. It's just covered in it. Can you see this? Wait, how do I do this? See this ice? wearing Bois Doré from Van Cleef and Arpels, and I want to tell you why. Below, It's Monday morning, so I had enough energy to do whatever we're calling this. And because of the weather, and because of the fact that I know no students are coming in today, I chose Bois Doré by Van Cleef and Arpels, perfumed and nosed by uh, Peregrine. Fabrice Peregrin. Oh my gosh. This is a fragrance that is so inappropriate for the classroom. <laughs> Do I care? Au contraire. The, what am I doing? What, what is any of this anyway? And so I reached and I, I, I actually had meant to grab something else. I had meant to grab for Coco Noir for today to mix it. And I, re and I found Bois Doré, and I took a sniff, because the bottles are similar, and I went, oh, yes, yes, that's the one for today. It has no place in the classroom. It's a little bit sexy. It's a little bit woody. It's uh, not very projecty, so I figure I'll get away with it. Also, no students. Anyway, uh, is this one on your radar at all? Have you ever sniffed this one or wondered about it? Okay, first of all, thank you, Sunny, from Sunny Scents, for gifting this to me. And secondly... This smells like some weird piece of metal. Like, like a, it smells like a piece of hot uh, metal. I'm making this sound so great, right? Eh? This sounds fantastic. Yuli, what are you talking about? talking about? This is a sweet, vanillic, mostly, fragrance that um, is warm, but that mineral note kind of keeps it from being cloying. What can I say to you? There's black pepper in it, so it's a little bit spicy. There is like tonka bean, which is really reminiscent of the tonka in milk, which is why I think some people compare this one to milk from Commodity. There's cedar, which is one of my favorite, favorite notes in fragrance, and teak, which is just, mwah. it's called bois doré, which is gilded wood. So it, there is something dusty about it. I can't explain it. That Doré, that mineral note, that metallic thing going on, and then there's vanilla, and then musk uh, in the base. It, it's, it, there's tobacco in here. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and it has no place in the classroom. I've just rambled on for almost four minutes. I hope you're well today. It's Monday. Well, watch me digress or regress into some form of just a baseball hat and no makeup by the end of the week because I drive a lot and I get tired. But for today, I had this energy. It was this weather. I'm wearing this fragrance. And I know no students are coming in because it's sexy and weird. Okay? It's sexy and weird. And I love it. So that's it for today. Leave me a comment down below if you've ever smelled this one and what you think of it, because I think most people think it's a dead of winter kind of gourmand fragrance, but I'm, I just, I just, I wanted it for today. If you have any questions about it, 
leave it down below. Even with my hoodie on, uh, 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 but I made you look somewhere. Look what we've already deteriorated into. I'm wearing a hoodie. Uh, this is day two of this thing where you're kind of living perfume with me, not in my car. So daily you'll see my outfits, what the inspiration was behind the scents. Like for my money, this is what I would like. So you get to see maybe these aren't hauls or top tens or whatever, but maybe they came from hauls or top tens. You don't know. Today I'm wearing Unknown Pleasures. There is a trade show going on in the community for which I uh, work in the uh, First Nation of Lexel. And so I'm going to head there and I'm like covered from head to toe in unknown pleasures from kerosene. This is a citric caramelic, people call it a gourmand, uh, with great lasting performance. It's zero degrees outside and cloudy. And, and uh, yeah, I just, this is everything I want it to be because I'm going to be in a big loud arena with all kinds of other smells that are not going to be perfume let me tell you anyway it's John Pegg is the perfumer and um, this is supposed to have notes of Earl Grey tea lemon honey bergamot tonka caramel vanilla and waffle cone I'm just gonna be honest with you you know what I get I get popcorn that's been popped in coconut oil that somebody dipped a spoon in like cumin or coriander or cumarin and they pop popcorn in that. And then sprayed it liberally with pledge. Not gonna lie. Anyway, this is what I smell like today. I'm sure I'm gonna fill the whole arena with this beautiful scent, which is weird. I'm not trying to entice you to buy it. I'm just telling you, it's really a very beautiful scent that many people, most notably my sweet Melissa, have sent me samples of. Thank you so much. Because I thought I would like it, and I do. Do I smell all those things? I don't know, I just like it. And it's weird. This is a... N n no bueno blind buy. Do not blind buy this. Um, where would I wear it to? Well, I'd wear it to work when I'm wearing a sweatshirt, which is not normal. But anyway, Kerosene is a brand that I am really, really interested in because I have samples of others of their stuff, and one of them is called Followed. I don't, I don't know what's in there, but in Followed, if you like a, a coffee scent... This is one to get your nose on for sure, followed. That's not what I'm wearing today because honestly, listen, Ryan put followed on. I don't know what's in there except for coffee and something that's just a little bit radioactive um, that is like the aroma chemical equivalent to herpes. That, that stuff's not going away. It, it, once you put it on your skin, it seeps through the simple squamish stratified epithelial cells and just becomes part of your DNA. And then you just... Your children smell like that. I've never, ever experienced anything like followed from kerosene. That's not what I'm wearing today, but I am getting a full bottle of that. Holy moly. You just have to actually, you don't even have to take it out of the box. You can just take the box and and wave it in front of you and you are good even with my hoodie uh, 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 but I made you look um, some that is my video portion for today kerosene unknown pleasures beautiful interesting fragrance you know this whole vanilla citric thing is having a moment right now it's really having a moment and so people are comparing them all and yeah I just did a video about how similar things are. So people compare unknown pleasures to a lot of the scents that are around. When I first smelled Devotion from Dolce & Gabbana, which I love and own, the first thing I thought was, this is just a really mungy cakey version of unknown pleasures. Because there's something weird in unknown pleasures. It's that, it, there's a spice in there that's not listed in the notes as on Fragrantica. And so, um, yeah, but Devotion has candied lemon and vanilla, and it they're very, very similar, if you ask me. Performance-wise, not so much. You can't really, you know, Devotion is having a moment. Unknown Pleasures is going to have many, 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 many moments because it's much more unique, although very, very similar. So you can compare it to Acro Bake. 
Uh, you can compare all of these then to Lemon Tart from Theodora Scalettines. I forgot. What else? People compare it to Lyra. That I don't see. Yes, I get the citrus and the caramel in Lyra, but I don't, I don't see that connection at all, nor do I see, like when I smell this, I don't think of Franck Bocle vanille at all. Um, anyway, it's having a moment, but I'm going to tell you something. All of those others are going to go away. Lyra and Unknown Pleasures will stay. Why? Because they're expensive, because they're niche, but also because there's something just a little bit, maybe it's because they're more expensive. I don't know. But there's something a little bit more special about Unknown Pleasures than there is about Devotion, although I love and have both. I think Unknown Pleasures will be available forever and ever. Uh, same with Lyra, but not so much Devotion and not so much the other. Well, it's the end of the day. I peopled all day at the career fair and did all the things and I thought I would come outside and share with you my scent of the evening, which is vanilla -y. So I peopled so hard. I don't want to people anymore. Ryan's bringing pizza home. We're going to watch the Jets. We need to win this one in the um, playoffs. And we're no longer in the playoffs, but that's okay. So anyway, whatever. I thought I would just uh, come out here and show you that the ice is going to come off the lake soon and we're going to have spring at some point, they say. Anyway, uh, vanilla -y from Lush. Have you guys, like, Lush is like this thing that I just don't understand. And I bought this kind of in spite of the fact that it is not very people-pleasing at all. Listen, did I tell you the three notes? Vanilla, Jasmine, and Tonka, except what it smells like. Let me be specific. Six-month-old cat piss on a donut. A yeasty donut. To boot. Anyway, Ryan hates <laughs> And I don't know why I'm wearing it. It's just so comforting, comforting to me somehow. So that's what I'm wearing. Uh, I have a glass of wine. And uh, Ryan just came home. And we're going to watch the hockey game. And I just thought I would let you know that this is what I'm wearing. Oh, and you know how I was saying that there's nothing new under the sun and whatever, all vanillas are the same. Mm, this is not the same. Please don't blind buy this ever, 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 ever. I don't understand Lush fragrances. They, uh, they all, they're all pretty, except for American cream. They're all, they're all pretty special. Hey, like, woo. anyway, uh, that is that I'm going to go enjoy my evening and I hope you enjoy yours too. And maybe I won't be as destroyed or I could be more destroyed in tomorrow's video. We'll see you then. But like, there's something cozy about it. I don't, yeah, and like, can you hear him in the background? He's not liking it. There's something cozy about it. Like the vanilla part of it's really nice and it's really different from everything yeah, that I keep talking about. It no, it's not cozy if you throw it in the lake, but it's, um, it's really not for everybody. It's really expensive. I just don't get lush fragrances. Like it's expensive. It doesn't last very long, um, it's offensive, and I'm wearing it anyway. Can you tell them what you just said? I said something about a six month old, six month old cat piss on a yeasty- a Muffin? Well, I said donut. Don't you think yeasty muffin made bed? I think yeasty muffin's gross, you're weird. So is that scent. I know. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, that's no. it. No. 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 And so begins the decline. Two days, three hoodies, one hat, half a brain cell. Somebody drank an entire bottle of wine last night and smoked a bunch of cigarettes. What was I thinking? I was thinking, I love my life. Today I'm wearing a fragrance that was a complete bonehead decision. Oh, I brought it and left it over there. Hang on. Like that didn't take 20 minutes. Okay, anyway, it was a bonehead decision because it's discontinued and if you don't have it, you probably can't get it. It's the infamous Angel Muse ED. <sighs> Why is it infamous, you ask? Because it's horrible. Ah! I that's two days in a row, too, of wearing fragrances that I know are kind of keep people away, maybe. Some people talk about how much they love this Angel Muse EDP. The EDT is still available. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about this one much other than to say that uh, it's what I'm wearing and that it's a Quentin Beach creation. And so I want so badly to like it. It's supposed to have uh, hazelnut in it. But all I get is this weird mix of pink pepper and grapefruit. 
I, anyway, I'm wearing it today. I doused myself in it, and uh, it's raining. And it's raining, and I'm casually dressed, and I just feel like I wanted something. Just from uh, Justice Fragrance Mixology, we just posted a Instagram post about how she wears her fall fragrances in spring because where she lives in Minnesota, it's very much like where I live in northwestern Ontario. And so uh, the, our weather is very similar. And people say this is autumn in a bottle. And I mean, let's face it, autumn is nicer than spring. All spring smells like is dog shit, but now it smells like dog shit with whatever the hell this is. Anyway, I'm, I'm liking it more and more. Can you tell? You can't tell at all. I'm liking it more and more. But anyway, I thought I would give you a twofer for today because although this is what I'm wearing all over, I want to talk to you about my Bois de Balancourt deodorant. I'll put a picture of it there for you. There aren't very many scented, I was going to say flavored, there aren't very many flavored deodorants for women. For men, they are everywhere. Every designer fragrance has a deodorant. And for women, this is not the case. Continued. Anyway, if you know of any other underarm deodorants, let me know. Because Bois de Balancourt from uh, whatever that company is, number four, Louis Maison Louis Marie, um, it doesn't work. It smells really good, though. It smells like woods. It's, it's uh, sandalwood and cedar. I get mostly that. And then there's supposed to be vetiver and nutmeg and cinnamon and amber and woody notes. So yes, it does. It smells a lot like sandalwood and um, cedar. Anyway, it doesn't work well on me. So that's uh, what I was wearing the other day and it didn't last all day. It didn't last at all and it did nothing for me other than smell good on top of a smell that didn't smell good. That's today's video. That's what I've got for you. I'm wearing Angel Muse from uh, Terry Mugler. Did I say that already? I was talking in another video about how everything is the same to me these days, and I'm trying to kind of break out of my vanilla humdrum perfume rut. You're absolutely right. It's a perfume rut. Uh, and so I'm going into something very different and I have to say I don't hate this as much as I did and in fact I'm liking how unique it is. Do I like how it smells? I must. I'm wearing it. But everything in me screams, why? <laughs> why did, why? Anyway, hard to get, discontinued and um, but that's what I'm wearing, so I thought I'd talk about the Bois de Balancourt. Um, the perfume's really nice, too, of the Bois de Balancourt, but it's, it's at Sephora, the de deodorant. It's online only. Um, so, And I'm not a person who sweats profusely. I'm not a person whose deodorant has failed me ever, but this one does not work well. Um, I thought I would let you know and save you the, I don't know how much it is for the deodorant. Like, it was a lot. Uh, but it doesn't work well, but it sure smells good until it doesn't. Anyway, do your menopause. Oh, I can't write that. I can't write that. Oh, this is, uh, I should be grateful to be allowed to be this age. <clears throat> backspace, backspace. Your menopause, please. Well, have you ever just wanted to call in ugly? Today I would have called in ugly if that were a thing. Hi, I can't come into work today. Oh, are you sick? No, I'm just getting <laughs> disgustingly ugly. Everybody should get like at least two ugly days a week. A year? Two, whatever. Just anyway, I'm on <laughs> my last wit, like I'm at my wits and all I want is like I just can't wait to get out of my black winter clothes so I can get into my black spring clothes. Do you understand what I'm saying? But the weather out here, it's like a menopausal woman at night. It's up, it's down, it's peeing, it's pooping, it's slurshing, it's slushing. What? It's I'm done. Anyway, it's been a day. My cat has already eaten two birds. And Whatever the little, what is it, a weasel or a rat or whatever that comes out and says, oh, six more years of winter or spring or what? I'm just, I'm over it. I'm over it. And I'm grumpy. And I reached for a fragrance that I'm testing, uh, which is to say I bought the Oaksha dupe of it and I was going to put it on today. And I saw the S because it's called Sweet Addict that I wanted to wear. I saw the S. 
of Secret Lagoon instead. See, because the bottles are the same, and I put on Secret Lagoon, and I was expecting Sweet Addict. So Secret Lagoon, if you don't know, this is Oakshy. It's the sister brand to Oil Perfumery, and Sweet Secret Lagoon is Virgin Island Water from Creed. It's their dupe. But I didn't sniff the bottle before. I just went in blind. Went, you know, like one does. And um, I thought, well, that smells really good and fresh and pineapple-y. And like, a, no, this is not the... And then I saw that it's this. So then I was like, F it. I'm already... I've already put on really heavy eye makeup and then decided to go with a bold lip and then realized that nobody's eyes know what to do. And then I remembered this. And so nobody's eyes give. You know what? People who know me don't care. And people who don't know me don't have a say. So anyway, then I reached for Sweet Addict, which is Love Don't Be Shy, which is what I wanted to wear today. I'm testing it out. And then I put that on. And now that's now I'm wearing both. Which one do you think I can smell more? Like it should be this one, right? It should be Love Don't Be Shy because this is a like heavy, dense, sort of orange blossomy, marshmallowy thing. No, it's this, it's this tropical drink that's coming. They, they should even be battling. Actually, they're kind of smooshing together. And making the lead in. And, and it kind of smells like Crybaby, which I also had from Oaksha but gave away. Of course I did. Anyway, what do you want to hear about today on FumeTube is that um, I use Oaksha uh, to test fragrances, pardon my hair, pardon my life. I use Oksha to test fragrances um, before dropping the coin. So if you you can get a good enough bead on a fragrance uh, to know whether you're going to like it or not, and you then you can go on to your favorite site to read about the performance, and you'll hear that some people think that it's fleeting, other people find it eternal, and you're just going to go straight down the middle with that and spend your money on the ones that you think anyway. Uh, I'm not going to spring for the Virgin Island water, probably. I can't imagine. Her. Anyway, that's not what I'm wearing. I, I will probably buy Love Don't Be Shy, even though I don't. This smells more like Neroli than Orange Blossom to me. But it's sweet, and it's marshmallow, and I like it, and I'll probably end up getting this. It's nice for today. It's 7 degrees outside. It's going to rain, and then it's going to snow. So welcome to my life. I'm exhausted from the drive, but I wanted to tell you about Oksha. They're pretty affordable. Mm. Are they going to blow your mind? No, I, they don't blow my mind. Uh, like I said, I use them f as a tester because you can get this 30, what is this, 30 ml for like 60 bucks. Or you can go to these websites and get 5 ml for 60 bucks. So if you do the math, carry the four, girl math says, buy the dupe. So I bought the dupes, and I am going to buy the real thing of this Killian one. Um, what can I say? Do you know Love Don't Be Shy? It's supposed to be Rihanna's fragrance, and it is marshmallowy and sweet. And the real I have a sample of the real uh, thing, and it's much more long-lasting than the Oaksha one. Um, but I do find these to be a really good value for the money, and so today... They're battling it out, and I have to say, sometimes this one, yeah, no, they smell, I can smell them coming out at different times. It's actually not a very bad combination, these two, although if you had actual Virgin Island water and actual Sweet Addict, um, no, actual Love Don't Be Shy, I don't know that you'd want to wear, what would that be per squirt if you wore a squirt of each or two? That would just be um, a lot, but anyway, it's a nice combination that Kind of reminds me of Crybaby. Mm. Anyway, uh, I, ooh, kink and neck. Dear menopause. Anyway, um, that's what we got for today. Tomorrow is the last day, and then I'm going to edit the ever-loving <laughs> out of this. And then I'm going to post it, and it's going to be like we're hanging out. I'll do weekend editions of these two. But this is kind of almost, this is kind of where I'm at right now in terms of content creation and in terms of sharing with you, my scent brother, scent sister, and non-binary scent sibling, that I'm just going to share what I'm wearing. Mm, so today it happens to be two dupes. And tomorrow it could be the tears of our forefathers. We don't know. So we'll see you uh, in YouTube magic right now. Well, I didn't make it another day. So uh, that's the end of this video. And if you've made it this far, which I can't, can't even imagine. Uh, you could, uh, I don't know, 
prove it. Leave me a heart. I'm just kidding. Thanks for being here, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.